Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can craft your very own Pokeballs and catch Pokemon in Minecraft Pocket Edition without any ads or mods required. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy, guys. Now, before we get into today's video, you guys already know how it is. I want you guys to go down to the description below and smash that like button. Go ahead, grab your Pokeball, throw it at that like button with full force, capture it, and make it go blue. As blue as the sky, as blue as my eyes, as blue as that waterfall. Waterfalls. Oh, nice. Um, and today we are going to try and reach a like goal. Now, normally this is the part of the video where I go 300 likes is cool, guys. But... You guys have been killing it with the support lately, so let's we're going to raise the stakes just a little. Today we're going to try and reach 500 likes on today's video, so make sure to go down, absolutely go crazy on that like button. We're only going to be able to reach it if everybody chips in, and if everybody goes down below and hits the like button, so I'm really asking for you guys to help me out here. That would be much appreciated, and as always, if we do hit that like goal, I will be adding some lucky people from the comment section below to my Minecraft Pocket Edition realm. So... If you want to be added to that, all you need to do is go ahead, subscribe, turn notifications on by clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, and then leaving your gamer tag in the comments section below. And then I'll, you know, if we hit that like, I'll, I'll be adding you guys. So, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So if I go ahead and switch into first person view here, you guys can see over here we have a Pokeball. Well, kind of. As you can see over here, it doesn't exactly look like a Pokeball. Well... It really does, actually. It has the colors and everything, but it's a little... <laughs> it's a little bit longer than a Pokeball. It's not a perfect cube, which makes it look pretty funny, actually, if you ask me. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's hilarious. But this isn't just a Pokeball. In fact, if we have a look through the glass here, this thing is holding a ton of command blocks. And these are what's going to allow us to get Pokeballs in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Yes, that's right. This entire thing is done using command blocks. That's absolutely insane. So you can get this in your very own Minecraft Pocket Edition world. No mods or add-ons required. Now, as you can see, if we kind of look in there, you can see there's a bunch of impulse command blocks, a ton of chain command blocks, and repeating command blocks. Now, we are going to have a look and try and maybe even, you know, attempt to figure out what's going on in there. But for now, we are just going to be using this um, command block system, and we might have a look at it later. If you want to download this particular map for yourselves, so you can go ahead and get this in your own world. I will have the download link in the description below so you guys can join in on the fun and get your very own Pokeballs in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I'm going to go ahead, set the time today, and let's get into the video. So as you can see here, this was made, Pokeballs in Vanilla MCPE by King Butter Jr. So go ahead, check him out. Um, I really don't know what he does, but he made this really cool um, command block creation. So kudos to him. So let's go ahead, switch it on. But um ch all right, good. And then let's have a look in the chest here. And as you can see, we actually have Pokeballs. Like, not only are they completely retextured, but they even say Pokeball. So if we come over here, it'll actually say Pokeball. And look, look, it actually looks like a Pokeball, guys. Like, that's insane. You can actually see I'm holding a Pokeball. Like, what? What is this? I have Pokeballs in Minecraft without add-ons of mods. I never thought the day would come. It's actually insane, guys. Now, unfortunately, these command blocks do not add new Pokemon to the game, so you are only going to get Pokeballs. But you can still use these Pokeballs to actually capture mobs, which is absolutely insane. That's crazy. And as you can see, if I throw them... Um, well, wait, it's kind of hard. There we go. This happens. You get kind of this dying silverfish. I'm not sure what's going on there. Probably has something to do with the command... But basically, you can go around and catch mobs for yourself and then store them, which is absolutely insane. So it's ba basically Pokemon in Minecraft. It's crazy. It's really, really fun. So if we come over here, we're going to try this out. So it's like, you know, all right, we've got we to gotta catch a mob. So we're sneaking in the tall grass here. The sheep can't see us. We're being super sneaky, super sneaky, guys. Super, super sneaky here. Just kind of coming in, coming in. All right, the sheep's kind of unsuspecting. Sheep's unsuspecting. And then bang, throw the Pokeball, and look at that, you caught a sheep, it says it in the chat there, you caught a sheep, woo! And you may notice we actually did, if we come to our inventory, we now actually get a sheep spawn egg, which is absolutely insane, and now I can go ahead and respawn that sheep whenever I like, which is crazy, that's actually crazy guys. And I can see this being super useful in survival, so if you want to, you know, take moles back to your farm, you can go ahead, go ahead and just, you know, kind of come up to them. Shoot a poke- oh, don't hit them, don't hit them. Shoot a Pokeball at them, catch them, and then bring them straight back to your farm. Or if you want to, you know, bring them into your house, or, you know, down into a cave system for an underground farm, or even over to the nether, you can catch the mobs on the overworld, and then 
you will get spawn eggs, which you can then use to respawn them wherever you like, which I can see a ton of potential for that. But then there's also a ton of griefing potential, which is kind of making me just a little bit excited inside. Because let's go ahead, jump into the inventory real quick here. If we go ahead and, uh, I don't know, let's grab a creeper real quick. If we spawn a creeper, you can actually also capture hostile mobs. So not only can you capture one nice ones, but if we go ahead, chuck that, look at that. We get another creeper spawn egg, which is absolutely insane, guys. So you can go ahead, capture creeper at night, then go up to your friend's house, be an absolute, you know, pain in the neck. I am not endorsing this, by the way. If somebody blames you for doing this, do not blame it on me. It's not my fault. But um, I can see this being a ton of fun, you know, maybe spawn a zombie behind someone, spawn a skeleton, you know, just be a little bit of a troll here. Um, yeah, I can see that being tons of fun. If we switch into survival here, I'll actually show you that it does work pretty much the same. So we go game mode zero. If we go a Pokeball now, in this game mode, of course, you have limited Pokeballs, obviously. And if we come over here, there's our pig. We can go ahead. All right, no, that's too far. We're not going to capture that one. But basically, we can go ahead, spawn the sheep, and we'll spawn two sheep here. And as you can see, it actually uses up the spawn eggs in survival, so you're not going to get unlimited spawns. But then you can recapture, like so. Oh, my gosh, come on. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just, you know, come over here and respawn that sheep. Oh, my gosh, it changed colors. Dude, you went in that Pokeball as white and you came out black. Wow, that sounds really racist. I did not mean it in any way. But, wow, that, that's interesting. Goes into a Pokeball and changes wool color. Sure, why not? That's pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, yeah, I am going to be using up a Pokeball every time I throw one. Um, we go ahead. Now we got another sheep. I wonder... Nah, that's not going to change color us. Then, once again, we actually have creepers. So this Pokeball thing could be actually really useful. If you're getting chased by a bunch of mobs, you can just chuck a Pokeball down before it gets to you. And then go ahead and capture that mob. So instead of me dying to a creeper, I can just go ahead, grab my Pokeball, and capture it. Which is really, really cool. And that kind of makes Pokeballs... One of the most OP ways of fighting mobs. Because let's say you see an Enderman, you're about to die, you don't have a Totem of Undying on you, it's just looking all bad, you know guys? But then you've got a Pokeball, you can just go, you know, Pokemon! And then just, you know, Pokemon style it, and throw that Pokeball at the Enderman and capture it, and then you can spawn it in later to get those Ender Eyes when you have more health, and yeah, it just, it works really well. It's really impressive how this is done. And I'm really impressed. Good job, um, King Butter Jones or whatever. Um, you got, you've done a really good job. I'm really happy with the way this works. And you Pokemon fans are going to love this add-on. Bang! Just, I just want to go around singing the Pokemon theme song. Pokemon! Bang! Oh, it's so satisfying just to be able to catch mobs and respawn them. It's actually great, guys. Um, so let's, let's, tr so, and you can basically throw these at pretty fast rates as well. So if we go ahead... And spawn quite a... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that did not work. That did not work. Whoopsie daisies. But basically what I was trying to say is you can spawn in a bunch of mobs, right? And then you go ahead. You can chuck these down and you can actually catch multiple ones at once if you are sneaky. All right, come on. Bang. Oh, this is, this is hard. Running backwards and trying to catch Pokemon at once. Come on, come on. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, you know, what about that? Four out of five is pretty good, guys, but um, I didn't catch that last one, unfortunately. But yeah, you can. there's tons of uses for these Pokeballs, and uh, yeah, they're just really fun to use in your Minecraft Pocket Edition world. There really is no denying that. I love it. They're great fun, and yeah, they're just epic, guys. I love them so, so much. And yeah, what's basically going on, if we come ahead and break into this thing, I actually have no idea what's going on. Don't, don't ask me what's going on, guys. Um, I have no clue, but we are going to try and figure it out. So let's go ahead, jump in here. So we've got, you know, some uh, redstone blocks here, and I guess those are the ones that activate the command blocks. And obviously, if you hit the switch to turn off this, um, to turn off this, you know, I guess Pokeball machine thing, it's going to make the redstone blocks move down and therefore not activate the command blocks. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward how the on and off switch works. But if we come into this command block, this one seems here to be able. This is basically making the uh, Pokeballs here, making that textured design. But I believe once you capture a Pokemon, what's going on is, if we jump onto one of these here. Huh, I'm really confused, actually. What is going on here? There's, that's just a lot of commands that I do not understand. But it, basically, these ones are all the use, uh, you caught a slime, you caught... those. So these are the words that say you caught something. And those are caused by, um, 
So if we come down to the very bottom one, I guess the bottom ones are what's making it work. So if we come down here, you can see it goes execute at E. So that basically means it kills it if you throw a Pokeball at it. And then it detects it and it kills it. So that's really, really cool. So basically, um, that's what's been happening. Every time we throw a Pokeball, it's actually killing the mob. And then... Once you kill the mob, it's doing a give spawn egg to the nearest player, which is also pretty impressive. And then that's activating another command block, which is basically saying that you caught the mob, which is what we end up seeing in-game. Now, I'm pretty sure all of these are basically the same here for all the different mobs. Yep, kill Magma Cube, and then it goes ahead and says... Egg, and then it comes up, and it says you caught a Magma Cube. So it's very straightforward, guys. Um, and that's basically how it works. There isn't too much else to it. Um... Of course, I'm saying it, and I'm making it sound simple. It is actually really complicated, and I'm very impressed with the guy, where the guy did it. I'm not sure what these imp- I'm assuming they are maybe some sort of something to do with mainly the texturing of the Pokeball that makes it look like it does, but um, I'm honestly not 100% sure. But if you guys want to learn more about commands and you want to learn how they work, this is probably the best method you're going to get. Just going ahead, downloading this map once again uh, will be in the description below, and then just kind of learning from that, because it is really useful learning this kind of thing. And um, yeah, these command block creations get better every time. So yeah, really, really cool that you can go ahead, capture mobs in survival or creative using pokeballs without any mods or add-ons that kind of brings us to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed learned something new um and i hope you guys like the concept of having pokeballs in minecraft pocket edition because i know i certainly do that's absolutely insane so if you did go if you did like this video make sure to leave a like once again we're trying to reach that gigantic like goal of 500 likes on today's video guys so make sure to smash that like button we need your help guys and then, of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more epic Minecraft Pocket Edition content, including maps, mods, seeds, servers, reviews, and all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, it was your map. Bye!